Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive into an exciting topic that I have been eager to share with you. Before we jump in, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In this video, we are going to see one job, a WordPress plugin named AI Mojo. So AI Mojo is a WordPress plugin with integration of chat GPT, GPT-3. So WordPress is basically used for blogging purpose. You can create e-commerce websites as well. But most of the cases we are using for blogging purpose, create articles, post pages and contact us forms and about pages, etc. So when it comes to integration with GPT-3 or GPT-4, so GPT-3 is uh, the technology which you can use to automate your articles. You can create number of articles with GPT integration. And we have an API, uh, API that OpenAI API. You can use th this API to create articles using AI. So let's start with this plugin. This plugin is very simple to use. You can create uh, one simple open API key and integrate that in this plugin so i have already downloaded that plugin and let me click on activate once you click activate you will see activation wizard so this is activation wizard a plugin wizard skip welcome to welcome screen basically here we have two options the first is open ai gpt3 which is recommended and second is AI21 Studio. So we are not going into this API. So basically this is AI engines and we are going to look into API GPT-3, open AI GPT-3 AI engine. Okay. So use, to use this API, you have to create one account at platform.openai.com and you need to create API key. So let me click here view api keys so right now i am not able to view this api key because once you create that api you have to copy and keep it at, at your safe place so you can use that later on once you create you will not be able to view copy or basically you can't use it again so you have to keep it at safe place if you want to create new key you can definitely create a new key and you can also delete this key once you create the new key. Okay, so I have already created that key. Let me click on next. Here, you need to add that key. So I'm using key to uh, enter here. Click on done. Once you, you are done with this wizard, it is showing that how you can use this plugin. So first of all, you have to enable the AI engine on this AI engines page after that you will get the post editor and here you can see the option to integrate these tools or options let's see one by one how we can do that okay so click on AI engines here you have to enable this engine so default engine is already enabled open AI this is enable this engine option is already enabled API key we already gave and default mod model this is AI model you can change model as per your convenience I am keeping text DaVinci 003 as default AI model here chat persona so you can add it or so this is uh, a chat personalized like whenever uh, you will integrate this chat GPT it will show you this message you are chat gpt a large language model trained by openai so you can keep it as default value you can also add your new persona so this is default persona okay uh, we are not going to enable this option because we created api for ai openai api let me click on update so it will save our options once we are done this with uh, done with this you can click on templates so templates are nothing but when you create 
your default template or your customized template you can use those template in your post or pages so let me delete this it was uh, earlier when i i was testing this plugin so default there is no template let me click on add new so whenever you add the new template you have to give the name my paste template here you need to give the description description about my new template prompt so prompt is basically the questions which we will ask to content editor who is going to add the content so prompt is nothing but a question or a prompt which will be there on the user end okay so we have a few available prompts so input is there we can add or edit prompt as per our requirement so this is result format you want to come uh, the text or prompt with completion text or prompt prevent text with completion text we can also customize the settings like maximum response length stop sequences temperature and so and so okay so let me edit so once you edit you can see the default values the temperatures and etc okay so this is when we edit and also you can use the library so when you click on library you can see this default templates available so let's say you want to create one article article ideas so if you want article ideas this prompt will give you some ideas on what you to write so click on this button it will override your settings so once you click you will see this name is already we have given description is there and in prompt it is adding some content like as a blogger this is this topic and this is the ideas okay so let me save it is saved now click on the template so this is the template we have created and now we can use this template in our post so let me click on all post click on hello world here you can see this icon that is for ai mojo integration click on that and it will open the sidebar here you can see we have quick access menu like article ideas so whatever templates we saw there we have this number of options with this quick access article ideas article outline bullet points to content you can use that here when you click the second option it will open templates so here you can select the templates these are the default templates you already have with this plugin but you can also select your custom template so once i add this it will create this form so this is the template selection topic you can use how to become more productive this is the topic i created uh, for example uh, i want to get some more uh, data on this topic okay this is response length and few details generate once you click on generate it will create some content see you can get the details the your answer that five tips to increase your productivity this is one two three four five so what you can do click on copy and paste here okay. so let's see how this looks now you can see we got five tips to increase our productivity isn't it great so it is showing three maybe uh, it was yeah because we have a few uh, yeah maximum response length, length is 500 so we can definitely uh, work around on this options the custom options and we can get our uh, desired result okay so this is how to become productive and we got three points okay this seems amazing okay you can click on playground and here you can see uh, the 
prompt which we used so here you can see the prompt options not sure what to write so you can use the ready-made templates so whatever template we added it was added here okay you can also select the ai engine and model the response length and few settings are there okay the next one is wizard so you can create a new wizard which i will show you in some time here you can take notes to save and you can uh, come back and view those notes here this is uh, a daily which is uh, a third third party api you can use to create prompts and this is chat gpt so chat gpt persona which i uh, selected while creating this ai engine option yeah this is chat persona okay so maybe this is not available because let me clear yeah it, it reset all the details okay uh, maybe this version is not available in free plugin you need to check it but yeah this is the chat gpt which you can use to ask question to chat gpt and get some answers okay so these are the options available for templates okay so what is ai mujo wizard so if you want to create a new wizard we already have settings for wizard the default model this is in pro version this is also pro version that uh, wizard languages so here you can create a new wizard and in new wizard you can create articles so this wizard will write for your article so click on this and you need to assign or ask few questions or you can also uh, get suggestions on articles once you once you do that you can uh, create your article title description and outline you can also review articles so let me see so enter a topic that is which describes the content you want to create okay how to gain a weight okay so this is my topic or article and next once you click next it will it will choose us to um, choose the title for this article so i have asked this question how to gain a weight so these are the options i got like how to gain weight safely and easily fight is to gain a weight so we can choose uh, we can choose whatever we want so once you click it will come here click on next it will create a description so we got few options like two options you can select any option you want it will create the description so this will be our post description here you can choose the outline like what will be the outline of this article click on next and this is how your article will look okay this is topic title article title article description and article outline click on submit so basically you can use this wizard to generate content generate articles or topics or post whatever you can say you can generate you can get the ideas of your articles you can get anything you want okay so they are creating content for you the article for you and this is very useful okay so it is showing that we got our rate, uh, rate limit yeah so maybe because uh, we used i may i mean whatever api i created i already passed that limit let me see so click on use it and no nope, it is there maybe it is not updated yet but once you have the proper payment setup and, and basically it is not free so you need to pay to uh, create such api so api creation is not the uh, paid one but if you want to use api you need to pay and uh, based on your usage you will be able to use this api key okay so this was a quick overview 
of this plugin AI Mojo. I hope you learned something new today. If you want to see the related videos like uh, ChatGPT WordPress integration, you can visit my channel. There is one video AI engine with WordPress. I have explained one plugin, the similar plugin, but more functionalities and there are few differences. Also, uh, before some time, I created one plugin that automate WordPress articles with ChatGPT. And in this plugin, I explained uh, how to integrate that plugin with WordPress. Okay. So that is all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this video. I will catch you in the next video.